All right, just to finish off this roller bearing series, uh, or installation rather, uh, it's all right. Uh, yeah, there's some noticeable improvements, but as far as the installation goes, so this one was super easy. Uh, pop this cover off, Dude, just follow what they say. Um, it comes out no problem. Uh, these guys, I tried to put in the, uh, actually a Torx, it's a size 40, um, to get that off. And of course started stripping. So what I'd recommend here is to use the vice grips first, um, get it started, of course PB plaster, and then um, vice grips, get it started, and then use the Torx. Um, same on this one, that way you don't strip it and then it's useless. It would be really awesome if they just include that um, new hardware in their kit, but of course anything to improve upon. Um, this uh, wasn't too, too bad um, to remove and all that kind of stuff. There is a, a larger bearing down here. It's a black one. The original one is metal. This one's whatever that is. And um, it's not the best. I'm sure it's a lot quieter for sure. But um, the metal one I had just spun. It was super dirty and all that kind of stuff. But cleaning that thing up, it would just go forever. I think that bearing, I would rather use it. This one has like a big circlip in there that uh, just, I don't know, in trying to seat it, uh, I used a different bearing, this old one, on that and pop that circlip right out. So uh, all in all, um, I might have just stuck with the other one, but um, that's my big complaint about the whole thing. Putting it back in, pretty straightforward. This in first, uh, make sure you get up top, then slide these in and uh, you're all set to go. So that's my review and uh, hopefully these tips helped you guys out and you guys, uh, and close your doors once again.